Okay. So we're here with Jenny Fletcher, who just won the women's half distance race at Isra Man. Jenny, can you tell us about your race? It was freezing cold out there, but you looked so strong the entire way. I did, did I? <laughs> it, was, um, it was tough. It, I have to admit, doing a race in January, knowing it's one of the toughest races out there, um, and mostly because you climb a mountain, and then when you're on top, it's freezing cold and there's crosswinds and you think you're at the top so you think it's you actually don't come back down which is you know part of the <laughs> disappointment <laughs> and then while you're up there it's constant actually like rolling hills but not just rolling like it's you ca I, I don't know how many times I just would turn a corner and I'm like oh you could just see the top of another thing and then you go down a little bit and then go up again so yeah was, that is a truly epic course um so when we were out there, we were we were seeing that to the left on the bike on the way up, um, you can see the the Egypt border with the wall. It's there's truly nothing like it. Um, what drew you to come out to this race? Um, well, I'm Garmin's one of my my sponsors, and we were at a, I was at an event with them in November, and they mentioned um, Israman and. I, I guess I knew Ben Collins had done it before, and I was like, I have to go do that. And yeah. then Ben told me it's the hardest race he's ever done. And Ben is, I mean, ridiculous. Like, he's a ridiculous athlete. So I'm like, if he's telling me it's the hardest race he's ever done, then I'm going, I'm I'm up for some a hard challenge. For yeah, sure. for sure. <laughs> and so when I saw you last year in Penticton, you had kind of done a bit of a world tour. Um, everywhere from Challenge Roth, uh, you were down in the Caribbean, I, I, so many places. And then you you told me that maybe you were going to retire this year. So I was. Yeah. That's why <clears throat> last year I was like, do everything you can, do the bucket list, do my yeah. I did my first f full distance at, at Roth, 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 and then um, of course I'm in November with Garmin, and all of a sudden I sign up for a race in January and keep going it's really hard to stop doing something you love and the for sure it, it's just fun to travel the world and experience so much and I mean, yeah it's hard to give look where we are I mean it certainly is beautiful here does this mean you're gonna continue your your 2017 campaign and put a few more races on the calendar yeah I, you know it's funny I actually was like just get through this race and then you can think about it and I mean I have my sponsors behind me so I'm going to put together something interesting this year. I have cool. to think of, I, I wanna, you know, do some epic races and travel and, and create more of a, you know, continue to be an ambassador for my sponsors and just get people like excited about this sport because there's so many great places to go and it's such a great adventure to be able to travel the world and and then like take a few days after and, and go explore. That's yeah. what makes this sport so fun. For sure. And speaking of exploring, what are you planning to do in your remaining time here in Israel? We, there's a few of us, we're going to go on, um, tomorrow is the awards and stuff, and then Sunday we've decided to go to Petra. Nice. So we're going to go to Jordan for the day and then come back, and we'll probably then head back up to Tel Aviv, hit the Dead Sea, float a little bit, like, you know, rub some mud all over ourselves and recover from the race really because I can't barely move <laughs> yeah that it, there's certainly uh I mean it's a net uphill bike course and then you're you're running right down a hill um did you did you train for for that sort of a course or what was your preparation like well living in where I live I I do a ton of of climbing um because I have the Santa Monica Mountains and I have some of the best riding that that um is, I think is around and then for the run uh, I do I love trail running so I didn't really work on my speed I just worked on you know it's January I was just trying to get a little fitness in, in some <laughs> fitness for sure do you have any tips for anyone who maybe wants to come do Israman next year yes um, I think the you think that the, well, the bike is tough, but really what it comes down to is you get off the bike and, and you have to run. And my tip would be to take that first that first downhill and don't go too fast. I mean, I, I tried to go fast and my legs blew up because everything started cramping. So it's, it's just really, you have to be really gentle with, with the downhill running. And I don't know, come do it because it's, a, a, it's an amazing race to experience. You're, when you're at the top of the mountain, and it, like you said, if you look around, it's 
It's so beautiful. It's crazy. It's, it's worth, worth coming to do. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much for your time and congrats on the win today. Thank you.